welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not new here, hey girl, hey, how you doing? How you been? Where you from? Where you what? This video is sponsored by Berry's Fashion Hair. They sent me a wig. It came in a DHL bag. They shipping with fast. 12 inch bob. This is a lace front, y'all. It's 150 density. I didn't do nothing to this hair. This is how it comes off the package. One, two, three, four combs. This is the lace. I didn't pluck it or nothing. It came just like this. It came plucked, bleached, colored, all of that. So we finna be installing this lace front. And I'm gonna give y'all a little voiceover story time. So boom, my first time ever being arrested, y'all. It was baby D Fort bro. I got arrested. <laughs> So yeah, let me explain it. So boom, I was in middle school at the time. If y'all seen my bullying story time, I told y'all once I got to sixth grade, I basically beat up the bully Vanessa and I basically became the bully. But I only only became the bully because I was beating up the other bullies, bro, because I stood on that shit. I don't like that bullying shit. So long story short, I was in seventh grade at the time. The sixth, seventh, and eighth graders was beefing with the tenth, eleventh, and twelfth graders. These girls was bigger than us and all types of stuff. Now, in our school, all of us that was in the middle school, we used to be on one side of the school. And on the other side was the high school side. But if we wanted to use the bathroom, we would have to go on the high school side because that was where the bathroom was. So when I tell y'all it was beef, it really was beef. Like we was fighting each other and all this. All this was because Pinocchio and some girl named A, we just gonna name her A. All this because Pinocchio and A, they wanted to sit here and go give the high school boy's head in the staircase. And the high school boy's girlfriends was not with that shit. So they wanted smoke. They wanted static. They want to fight us, bro. And I'm like, bro, y'all mad bigger than us though at the end of the day. So, I guess everybody was, like, talking about, oh, well, Charisma, she the leader. And she, I'm not the leader of nothing, bitch. I'm not. These bitches big as hell. Like, one thing about me, I already know what I'm finna lose. I'm gonna lose, bro. Like, I'm gonna fight them and get beat up. So, I'm saying that I, I secretly ain't want no static with them anyway. Because I kind of was in love with one of the girls that was in the 11th grade. Like, I'll never forget this bitch. Her name was Sierra. Like... Not my friend, Sierra, if y'all watching this. But I'm talking about the bitch that was... You You know this, You know I'm talking about a little Spanish joint. You know I'm talking about... So, I really wanted her, bro. I was like, bro, I can't be beefing with these bitches. Because, like, I really like this bitch, whatever. But, you know, I'm a little girl. So, they used to call us little girls and shit. You know, stuff like that. So, it was this girl. She was a Mexican girl. We gonna call her Mexicana. Because I don't know what else to fucking call her. And I'm over here looking at this shit. Girl, you better not cut your forehead. But yeah, so we gonna call Shorty Mexicana or whatever, right? So, Mexicana, she come with her friends. And feel me? We all in the bathroom. So now me and my friends, we in the bathroom or whatever. Mexicana and her friends come in the bathroom. They basically telling us we gotta leave the bathroom. We can't be in the bathroom. So I'm like, bro, you ain't telling us shit. I'm not finna get out this bathroom. I'm finna be in this bathroom, bitch. Is you dumb? So she's basically sitting there talking her shit. So one of the girls, she pushes me. So I'm like, I know this bitch did not just push me, bro. I said, bro, y'all mad bigger than us. Like, what are y'all doing, bro? Like... So, they was on some, bro, so fight us then, do this, do that. Like, it was a whole big thing, bro. We used to have brawls with them. The principal used to get involved. We used to literally be fighting these big-ass kids. Like, they not even kids. These big-ass damn near adults, damn near going to college next year and shit. So, I did what any little scary bitch gonna do. I called Baby D. Yo, Baby D. These 12th graders is over here trying to fight us. I'm only in the 7th grade. I don't know what the fuck these bitches talking about, bruh. But little Mexicana and her friends, yeah, they want that smoke. Baby D said, all right, after school, I'm going to be there tomorrow. So I'm like, all right, cool. So all day that day, the next day, they was messing with us. I was keeping it cool. 
I was like, fuck that shit. Like, as soon as I get home from work, first of all, baby D gonna beat the shit out of Mexicana. And then I'm gonna go home. My grandmother just got her tax money. So I'm gonna tell her to go get me some ACG boots, some cute socks. Because, you know, we wore uniforms. So I couldn't do much. So I'm like, yeah, get some cute long socks. Get some, get me, put my uniform on with the ACG boots. And if y'all female, y'all remember the long coats that used to go all the way to our ankles when we was kids. We used to think them shits was so cute, the little bubble coats. So I had one of those. I was like, yeah, fuck that. I'm not messing up none of my shit. I already know Baby D coming. I'm not even going to tell him Baby D coming. So after school or whatever, Baby D pops up. So, it was snowing this particular day. I remember this shit. So, we walk around the corner. We walk towards the bus stop. So, as we walk to the, towards the bus stop, we see little Mexicana and her friends. So, her friends start popping off at the mouth crazy. So, when baby D like, well, bitches, what y'all finna do? Like, I'm y'all age, bro. Fight me. Y'all not fighting my little cousin. Fight me. So, Mexicana, she kind of telling her friend, like, bro, just chill because, you know, like... They, she, that bitch big, like, I ain't trying to fight her, like, I ain't trying to fight her, so, um, yeah, so basically, Mexicana, she like, yeah, I'm not trying to fight her, like, fuck that, so, baby, D like, nah, fuck that, you been bullying my cousin and her friends all this time, you push them in the bathroom, you do this, you do that, my cousin been telling me, bro, just come outside and fight me, because I'm not leaving until you come outside, so, boom, Mexicana come outside. She talking hot at the mouth, y'all. Baby D start fighting her. When I tell you Baby D beat this girl up so fast and so hard, she was literally beating this girl face into the snow. Like, once she got Mexi, once Baby D got Mexicana on the floor, she smashed her face into the snow over and over and over, bro. She was like, bro, you not finna. Like, that's how she was talking. You not finna keep playing with my cousin like she was whooping her ass and talking shit to her she beat this bitch up yo mexicana got up mind you all we all standing there because me and all my friends mind you we all beefing with these girls but it's only mexicana right now all her friends dead so we sitting here we like yeah we got one for the team everything cordial we got one for the team so we sitting there whatever y'all mexicana gets up she got a black and blue. She is beat the fuck up. She is bleeding. She looks horrible, bro. So she walks off. She crying and shit, feel me? She barely could walk. Like somebody, a random person literally helped her up. And she was the biggest troublemaker. The biggest troublemaker. So somebody helped her up or whatever. So they walk up to the bus stop. We all walk off. So now we like, yeah, we got the victory win. It's going to be lit. Ah, ah. So after that, baby D, she go home. I go home. All my friends, we go home. So like I said, my grandmother, she take me a little income tax shopping. Yeah, give me them ACGs. And I, yeah, I was looking like the shit. So I come in the next day with my little long coat from Blade. I'm like, yeah, bitches, we got the win. So, you know, we all cheering in the hallway, feel me? We have a little party. We twerking this shit. Hey, we beat them up. Even though we didn't do anything, Baby D did it. We did nothing, bro. So it's crazy because all the high schoolers, they start coming at us. Oh, what the fuck did y'all do to our friend? Why her face is like that? This, that, and the third. I'm like, man, fuck your friend, man. She should have got out the field, bro. Like, ain't no way she talking all this hot shit to us seventh graders. And baby D pull up a same girl that's her same age. And she can't even fight her. Like, nah, fuck that. Tell your friend she should never been in the field. So that happened or whatever. I'm like, yeah, so all day I'm giving that this shit we 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 won we won that's all we cared about we won fuck y'all bitches we won so we doing all that right so i'm chilling feel me bro why the dean come up to me with two cops so the cops like yeah you assaulted someone yesterday we came to arrest you i'm like what so they like yeah they say you and someone else the girl said you and someone else your cousin or something y'all uh, y'all assaulted her I'm like, bro, I don't even know what you're talking about. My cousin never even been to this school. Like, I don't know. I automatically knew. Once anybody start asking about Baby D and she don't go to our school, Charisma, you have to lie. Because they're going to arrest her. And the way that girl face looks, she going down for a long time. But I knew since I was a minor, I could take the little charge. So I'm like, you know what? 
fuck it. So I'm like, bro, they've been bullying us for a minute, bro. So all I did was I just fought back. Like, I just fought back. So they like, so you going to tell us who for her or you going to have to come with us? I'm like, bro, I don't know who it is that for her. I don't know. So they're like, all right, come on. Bro, they turned my ass around, put the cuffs on me in school. Yeah, my whole grade, the 6th, 7th, 8th graders went crazy, bro. They jumping up and down. They roofing like, yo, free Resma, Free Resma, yo. Free the goat, my nigga. Yo, free Resma. I'm like, yo, you already know free me. Fucking talk about my for free me. Like, I'm in 7th grade going to jail and shit. They came to the school and get me. They got me. So now I'm feeling like, I'm feeling all like, yeah, they got my ass. They got my ass. They definitely got my ass. And on the low, I'm scared as fuck. But in front of my friends, man, fuck this shit, man. I'm going to jail, man. Fuck this shit. Even though I have never been in jail, bro, I was scared to death. So we get to the precinct or whatever. They call my grandmother. They telling her what happened. It's that and the third. So my grandmother pull up. She like, Charisma, what happened? Tell me the truth. I'm like, shit, these bitches been bullying us, so we decided we was going to get back at them. And, yeah, they caught us in the bathroom. They was pushing us around, telling us all this shit, what they going to do after school. So I called somebody, and boom, they beat them up. So my grandma like, oh, who you call? Who you call? So I'm like, I ain't called nobody. Like, I ain't called nobody. She like, bro, you just say call somebody. So I'm like, bro, I call baby D, but she told me not to tell nobody she came because she don't want to get arrested. The way the girl face looks, she's going to get arrested. So the girl comes out the office from, I guess she was filing a complaint in the precinct about me. Her and her mother come out the office, y'all. The girl face, the black and blue, it was horrible. So my grandma's like, oh my God, look what she did to her face. I say, yeah, she should have knocked the fucking teeth out because she talked too much. My grandmother smacked my ass. Bitch, shut, shut your ass up, Charisma. That's why you always do some shit. I'm like, man, I ain't with all that. You bully me, I don't care. I don't care. I ain't feel bad for the bitch. She did look bad or whatever, but I ain't feel bad. So, yeah, like, I definitely got arrested, bro. And, like, I was finna go to jail. Well, I did go to jail, but they didn't keep me because I was a minor. And I knew they would have kept baby D, bro. And I ain't want them to keep my cousin. So, I was like, you know what? Fuck that shit. I'm going to just take one for the team. So, I definitely took one for the team. But Baby D did that shit for me. So, I fucked with you, Baby D. You beat the shit out that bitch, Baby D. And when you watching this, you going to be like, yo, I remember I definitely beat the fuck out of her. Yeah, you did. And they came and got, they took me in handcuffs out the school and I was arrested. And you know what? That got me some cool points. So, that was okay. But see, back then, I was on that cool point shit. I would do shit for cool point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, fuck all that. I'm, nah. But now I'm sitting here telling this story. Yeah, I definitely, I, I did a bid for you, baby D. Feel me? See what I do for my cousin? See the loyalty? Like, I, I did a bid for you, shorty. Like, I only stayed in the precinct two hours, but it still was a bid, bro. Feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. Like, that's the end of the story time. Y'all like this story time? Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, man. This day one of the 30 day challenge, we doing it crazy in this bitch. Oh, yeah. And also, that wig is so popping. It looks so freaking good. Like, stay to the end so y'all can see the ending results. But, baby, that wig right there, baby. That wig right there. That wig was looking good. Good as a motherfucker. Good as a motherfucker. But yeah, y'all, I'm off this. Make sure y'all hit that like button and deuces.